Hello people, welcome back to a video here. I know I haven't posted for a while. This is, as you can see from the title, something that I don't tend to do too often, which is just to open packs, but this set, uh, this, well, this block of, of packs to open, let me just try and move that camera a bit. Is that me? Yeah, that's better. This um this is slightly special because these all came free from Celio's Network. So Celio's Network, the YouTuber, uh, Luke, uh, I can't remember his surname, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Luke. Um, yeah, so I got given them for free. It was one of those, oh, uh, comment and comment and retweet and you can get free 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 pack. So I thought I'll go for it. Um because I haven't posted for a little while. I now have a I now have a puppy and uh it demands a lot of time unfortunately and sort of was able to put them down to sleep and sneak away for a little bit and oh here's one of my cats. Hello. Yep. I'm scratching on the old chair there. Well done. So yeah we're gonna open well I've already opened ten of them. Uh, what I did was I actually put the camera uh, on PTCG Live and then st uh, Stream OBS couldn't find the camera so I had to sort of eat it on the uh, on the 10 packs there. And then the way Live is as well, unfortunately, you can't just like accumulate 100 and then open them all. You can only do them in sets of 10. So we're going to have to do cuts and I'm going to have to copy paste, etc, etc. But yeah, if you're up for seeing that, um, oh, what did I get my first 10? I got a full art Arvin. And that's it. So um, we're going to go with that. We're going to open the rest of the 90. Uh, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, let's let's jump straight into it with a little jump cut. Right, there we go. We've done our next 10. Um, cat's sort of come up. He wants to look out the window. So he's going to be up there now. Let's have a look. Lechonk. Oh, I don't know. What does Katie do? Mark, your opponent's Pokemon. Poison Pokemon don't recover from that special condition when they evolve. So that could be useful. In the very specific situations, what have we got here? Ralts, Coridon. So, nothing much good in pack number one. Pokemon Catcher, got a few of those. Crocker Lord, Defiance Band, could be a useful card. Grievard. Mm, what is this? Dolive. Tries to attack your opponent from his coin. That, that attack does not, doesn't happen. Okay. Arbolivia. Ar Arbolivar. Ar <clears throat> when you play this Pokemon from hand, you evolve one of your Pokemon during the process. You may heal all damage counters from one of your Pokemon. Okay. Moving on, moving on. We're just looking for the big hits today. Looking for the big hits. Krogunk, Zangus, terrible hits. Switch. Oh, look at that. Full arts. Uh, mm. What is it? A character art. Slowpoke, followed by an Arcanine EX. Of course, I've already got 10. So I'm just checking for more cats on the ground. We've already got ten in the uh, four in the collections, excuse me. So that goes straight into the pile. Grivard. Go goat. Um I'm sure there was another card there, but I <laughs> missed it. <laughs> yep. Flittle. What's this? Douche bun. This Pokemon can't be burnt. Oh wow, so if you fire over fire over gets very good. You've got the one one line of that. Picnic basket. Oscar's on the move. He's gonna go sit on my mouse. No, nope, he's not. King Gambit there. Five packs left. Toad School. Smoliv. Scotch Bonnet Pokemon. The Doom. And Armor Rogue. Oscar. Don't do that. I'm walking across the front. Hey, go on, silly cat. Right, Clauncher got the Growlithe there. Team Star Grunt, another Nest Ball, Grimer. Ah, uh, Klefki. Klefki is always good. I've got four already though. So so far, nothing particularly interesting. I think the Slowpoke is probably the most interesting thing, and of course the Full Art Arvin, which unfortunately we've got opened off camera. Sorry if you can hear any banging, that is the cat. And he's now whinging. Magneton, Meditit, Houndstone. Oh my god, if I had a quid every time I got a Houndstone, bloody hell. I'd have like 20 quid. Mankey there, the energy switch. 
Oh, a Coridon EX. I've already got four of those, so no, it doesn't really matter. Cool, so just to recap, the first hole here. I think it's probably easier. Uh, I wonder if we can see the card that we missed. Hmm, we may never know. We may never know what it was. Oh, what does this do? Shuffle your hand as your deck, then draw eight cards. Your turn ends. Huh. Off it goes. Done, done, done. Cool. Right, and we've got some uh, points in the bank there. On to the next ten. All right, another round of this. Ten booster packs of five cards, of course. Hmm. Spooper. Yeah, Lucario, Houndstone, Meowscarada. Another bunk pack there. Of course, another Crow Gunk, got a lot of those. Dondozo. The Slowbro. Great artwork on that one. Great artwork on that. Let's see. Rare Candy. The Crook. And Annihil Hape. Interesting Pokemon card there, the Annihilate. Probably nothing much to it, but you never quite know, do you? You never quite know. Electric Generator, yep, Youngster. Maride on EX. Not a bad pull. Already got four, apparently, so doesn't matter too much. Miriam Potion. Maride on. Riverroom. One of the sillier names for any uh, Pokemon that, Riverroom. Up there with Kling Clang and Kling Clang, in my opinion, but there you go. Pulled it. Five packs left. Mas Machief, Magamite, the big Wuggers. Wow, look, only have three. Hopefully, by the end of this, I've got a fourth one, because you know, always want to have the option to play Wug. Pull me, Zingus, Bliss. Oh, a nice Coridon EX. That's the goldy, goldy one as well. Not just the nice, the sort of nice one. This is the nice plus the gold one. So that's cool. If this was PTCGO, that would be straight up for more booster packs. I can tell you that for nothing. Big trades, big trades. Nothing else much to report here. Watrell, Relts, Cloth. Okay, was that the last pack? No, no, another one there. Quack. Some bear. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. And a research. So, yeah, overall. Oh, well, we can see actually overall. What did we get here? It's been actually much better than the last one. We've got that golden Coridon. Uh, we've got the Maridon EX. A few things going into the grinder there. Into the old points pile. On to the next. Here we go again. Codes to be redeemed. Ten more packs. Sword and Shield. Shach. Rebellion. Exciting, isn't it? Flabebs. Is Flabebe the only Pokemon with an accent on the um, letters of the name in English? Oh, there we go. The big man Squover himself. The good one. One of the greatest cards currently in format, as we know. Always pulls what you want off the top. As the character art version there. And a Houndstone to finish off. Perfect. Just what you want from a booster pack. Cacnea. What does this actually do? Your, opponent, your Pokemon player has no weakness. Great if it wasn't on stage 2. Rocky Helmet. The Skeledurge. Not very good. Hmm. No. Skeledurge EX. Could be very good. Damage my attack for opponent's Pokemon. Put three damage counts on it. Has there ever been a good Cacnea? Or Cacturn? Has there ever been a good one? I don't think there has. It's one of the more 
one of the most shafted Pokemon I think that we've got of the sort of thousand odd that there are. Torontula. Horlucha to finish. Pack number five. Magikarp. No, oh, that's nice. Dolive. Lovely nice little character art there. Uh, another Slowbro. Put him in the put in the in the old meat grinder. There's a Squabbit. Dedene. Miriam. Cloth. Three packs to go. Getting through them now. Miraidon. Terrible card. Not even good in GLC either. Just terrible. Another rare candy. Another beach court there. Nyonma. Yeah, it's it's not great. It's just not great, is it? A Wiglet, now we're talking. Another cloth. Cool, so to recap, we've got a couple of character arts there, the uh that olive thing and squovit. A few hundred there into the meat pile, 780 into the old uh, hexagonal uh, currency. On to the next 10. Here we go again. Oy, oy, oy. I just looked at how many I've got to do and I've got to copy and paste all of the individual codes, which is fantastic. So it's taken lots of time. Panico, the Doom, Hound Doom, good. How do me X interested in that card actually uh when that comes out? There was something there that was my first one. I think it was the Medicham. Hmm. Maybe because it was Rev Hollow. Oh uh, reverse. Yeah, I think it was reverse. Nest ball there, Squawker Billy. Another cleft key, straight into the grinder. As it goes, uh yep. Yep. Nothing. Absolute bunk. Tropius, not the good one either. Well, good, the good one. So look here, another cleft key. Yep, just keep on bringing them over here. Another hundred coins. Ooh, wow, just absolute garbage, pure garbage all round. Whew. Oh. Speaking of garbage, a Gardevoir EX character art, the most sought after version of Gardevoir EX, of course. Uh, pretty cool. That's the more valuable cards that we've uh, that's that have pulled there in this. Well, in, in entirely, I think. From Sword and uh, Sword and Shield, bloody hell. from Scarlet Violet, I think the most valuable card, digital or physical, that I've pulled there probably is that Gardevoir. EX, Pormat, mm hmm. Mm. Catcher, Coridon, Squav, King Gambit. Alright, so to recap there, a lot of coinage, a lot of coinage. Hey, where's that? There he is. There's the big one. God of War X. Very good. Very good. Cool. Not bad, not bad. We'll take those. We'll take the 1,000 credits as well. On to the next one. Another round. Who knows how many I've done. I don't. Growl. Alam Grime. Hmm. My boss stiff. Switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. Well, that could be really annoying. Hmm. But you just get bossed up and it's got three energy retreat. So that kind of sucks. Moving on, Fido. Speeder. Nice flamingo Pokemon. Oh, Maraid on the Axe. Character art there. Ooh, is that more or less valuable than the Guard of War? Probably slightly less, I would assume. In fact, I think Guard of War is probably the most. Excuse me. Ugh. Most valuable card in the whole set. So that's probably number two though, right there. I sort of skeleton in the back to round it off. Uh yep, the Sandy Man. The Capsicid Rot. 
Equivalent, King Gambit, the Don Dozo, shiny as well. Didn't know it came as a shiny. Got to be disappointed if you pull that, haven't you? Dream Ride on Meow Scarada, of course. Energy Search, Don Gerna, Houndstone. Getting through it now, just looking for the big stuff. Shroomish, Breloom. Another Pokemon that's very underrepresented as far as good cards is concerned. Breloom never really gets anything good. Uh, Dondozo. Two left for this little pile. Beach Court there, Chansey. Miraidon, the last one. Hopefully we get something nice in this to sort of bring it back up. It felt like it was very really strong at the beginning. Oh, they... <laughs> there you go, Coridon EX. Character art. Oh, it's got a little Dedenne there in it as well. How lovely. How lovely. Cool, we'll take that. Two character arts. Um, EX character arts, as I say. I think there was some more character arts. No, there weren't. That was it. Fine. Anyway, that wasn't bad. That's um, got the old endorphins going, isn't it? <laughs> On to the next one. Here we go. Momentum. We've got momentum now for definite. Definite momentum. Redeeming the goats. <sighs> Excuse me. Ugh, so boring. I'm just too boring. That's the problem. Just sit around and yawn because of how boring I am. Mesa Goza. Stone Journer. Yep. 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 Oh, what is that? Character art Don Dozo. Now we're talking. That's a beast. I like that. That's beauty. That is a beauty. I tended to get the physical one of that just because it looks really cool. Who knew? I'm really not up to date with my sets now. Like I had no idea that was even in it. Well, the things like that, like character arts, they don't tend to really like rouse my interest. They don't tend to pique my interest. Uh, obviously, I got quite interested in them, but overall, not really. Skeledurge. Oh, hey ho. Nice occasion to get a bit of bling. Hey, speaking of bling, there's another one. Another one of those Coridons. I might switch the regular Coridons for those then in my uh, Coridon deck. Not one for playing max rarity myself, usually, but wanting to make an exception every so often. So a look here. Little Dedenne there in the one of those that previous pack. Not really worth stopping for. Pawniard. Mm. <clears throat> no, not overly worth stopping for for the most part. Look at that. Wow. That is cool. That is very cool. Well there you go. More to come. More to come. Nearly forgot to press record then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bruxish. Getting very close. I think after this 10, it's probably... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Trying to be excited over Garrett OCX. After this 10, I think there's about 20 left. Garrett OCX there is able to do 360 damage, which I believe knocks out basically everything in the format currently. But it does take 5 energy, which is pretty crap. Uh, even with a Palkia, it's going to be a bit of a bugger. Double Penny. Oh, look at that. That's Team Star Grunt. The full art. So I'll say that's... Oh! Hey. Yo, two of them now. That's pretty good. Another cleft key for good measure. Can't have too many cleft keys. Alright, so so far this pack of... This set of ten has been pretty decent. Oh, look, we're getting Oink alone as well. Already got four, unfortunately, but... I'm I'm still counting the hits on that one. I'm counting the hits for sure. Uh huh. Oh, a full art research. That's the first one, as you can see. Of those, I don't think I have the wifey one either. Okay. So this one's been <laughs> this has been pretty stacked, hasn't it? Absolutely stacked. All the good stuff is coming out. <laughs> what? Gold rare candy as well. 
Wow, gold and rare candy as well. That's mad. They're all coming out in this set. Nothing there. Two packs left for some absolute nuts to come through. Klefki, Dondozo. Oh, I think it's dead. I think it's dead. I think we've had our run on this one. Yep, 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 we had our run. Well, I'm not complaining. Another character art, Gardevoir EX, a Gyarados EX, of course, Terrestrialized. Oh, what does Torkoal do again? Oh, yeah, 80 times. That was it. Pretty bonkers stuff. Oop, where are we going? Uh, ah, yeah, I've got the Team Grunt and the Gold Rare Candy as well. The Gold and Rare Candy, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. We've got a lot of coins for that one as well. That's pretty exciting, actually. That was pretty exciting, I've got to be honest. Um, I believe about 20 left. Yep, so I was right. I did get it right. It is just 10 more after this one. So we've got Alana. That was my last 20 packs here. Can we pull any more crazy stuff? I'd love to see another golden rare candy. If I'm being completely honest with you, that would be madness. Two of those. Macario, Quagga, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Houndstone, of course. We've got absolute dog so far. Oh, little double, 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 double click there. Mm, research, yep, yeah, dog. Pretty doggy. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Muck. Mealscarada, so still nothing much there. Stick with me, Skiddo. Oh, there you go. Character Art Wiggler. Come on. Character Art Wiggler. Let's, let's get it. Yeah. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I'm definitely down for the character art Wiglet. Not many left though for this bunch. So far nothing to write home about. Well, Wiglet, obviously. Two to go. This set definitely making up for the last set. This is it, it's our last one. All hope is lost. All hope is lost. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So it looks like I mean, well, we've got. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's got the Psyduck and it's got the Slowpoke up there and some Love Disc. I uh, can't remember what that's called. And I know that that's a Pokemon, but I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Well, we take that. Another 1,440 coins as well. Last 10 to go. This is it. This is the final frontier. It's all or nothing now. <laughs> I think I've done. All right, though, so it's all or all. The chunk. That's not the rare candy we wanted, but it's the rare candy we probably deserve. Yep, 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 yep. Defiance Band, Annihil Hate. Ay, ay, ay. Let's not get let's not get hyped up, okay? Let's not get hyped up for the for the end because the ending is bad. It's not going really to my plan. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, not like this! Come on! Hey, Totskroki X. <laughs> uh, it's not very good. Uh. <laughs> Hey. Oh, there you go. Character art Coridon. We we whinging about. We we whinging about. Brilliant, mate. That's more like it. Two character art Coridon EXs. We are Oh, an Arcanine EX as well. Definitely in the money there. The money. We are in it. Is that it? Oh no, two left. Two left. Here we go. Here we go. It's all going to come. There you go. See? Karad on the X. It's all coming together. Oh, little, nice little double tap. I think that's it. Is that the end? That's the end. Totsukuroki X there. 
Coridon EX and a Coridon EX goes in the bin, another Arcanine goes in the bin. Well, there you go, there you have it. That is my uh, pulls from Celio. And do you know what? I, just, I can't help myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you all a game. We've got to have a game, haven't we? Haven't played a game on camera for a long time because I just don't really see the point. There's so many decent players that play games live on camera. Um, as you could probably tell, there I was in Grumble League because I haven't since the reset. Um, I haven't played very much. I did get up to like Alakazam. I think. Uh, I don't want to go first or second. I'm going to choose first, even though this deck doesn't mind going second. So this is a Maridon Flaff. Oh, that is more like Faff at the moment. At the moment. Uh, Maridon Flaffy. Uh, this was this uh, uh, 59 of these 60 cards was piloted by Alex Northey, former uh, UK national champion, to win a local league cup. Actually, uh, I've taken out a. Maridon, there was three. I, was, I don't know if this is the right thing to take one out, but I took one out and I've put the Ampharos EX in. He recommends Ampharos EX. I thought, yeah, okay, I'll throw it in. It's going to be use. It's going to have a use, hasn't it? So we're in that position at the moment. Maybe I should have taken out the Collapse Stadium because I never really use it, but it's always the same, isn't it? One time you actually want it, you've taken it out. Uh, a little bit pixelated there, <laughs> and the timer doth go down now. But playing against Giratina, we don't really mind. We've got the turn one. Unless we've prized both Maridons, then we've got the turn one. Which is great. Might have to bin off the Serena, unfortunately. We'll see what happens off the concealed cards. Going second here would have been probably been pretty good. I think I've, from the hand, I don't see a reason why we couldn't have got a turn one uh, Maridon or even a, a turn one Raichu or... Uh, Ray Raikou, too many rise there, but hey ho, we live and learn. We deal with what we got. My opponent has taken their mulligan. Wow, is this actually a bug? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I say, I actually, um, I haven't really had many bugs on live. Ah. <laughs> Yikes. That's so good. Okay. Nest ball. Might be too early with that nest ball because I don't know what he's playing. Hmm. I sort of want to get the zone in play. Oh, there's, there's the V stars not in here. Well, that sucks. I can still threaten it. It's probably not even worth threatening, is it? Nah. Tandem unit. Oh, it's... Mm. I need to be prepared to take out big boys. Hmm. Get the Reiku. Yeah, something will get knocked out and I'll be able to fleet float. Always happens, man. Always happens. Uh, do I Ultra Ball and then Generator? No, I Generator now. Because what is this guy with the Ultra Ball? What am I Ultra Balling for? Flaffy. There's no point. Just take the two. There you go. Straight off the top. Uh, one there. One there. Got one in the discard. I think I just pass. Do I attach? I've got the Serena for next turn, actually. Yeah, no, I'm going to wait, because if they drop a Giratina, I can just go um, attach, retreat, dynamo. I can Ultra Ball. Whatever I draw gets Ultra Balled away with the other Ultra Ball. Um, for a Flaffy, Dynamo or attached to the Radiant Greninja, retreat, Serena up the Giratina, take the knockout, is Giratina. So if they don't play two Giratinas down, then they're going to be um, between a rock and a hard place. 
Uh, I assume this is going to be a second Giratina. Or do they just... No, it's a Comfy. Okay, well, that makes sense. They need Comfies to do what they need to do. So this is the problem with a Giratina deck like this, coming up against the Maridon deck, is that if I continuously pressure the Maridon... The... Jesus Christ, that's my Maridon. If I continually pressure the Giratina... Okay, he's probably going to get another one. I mean, obviously knowing my hand, I don't know what their hand is. But to not have two... Uh, now I really wish I got the the Raichu instead of the Raikou. Oh, it's a Manaphy. Yeah, okay, so the, <laughs> the threat of the Magnezone V was enough for them to make them get the Manaphy into play. Which is quite funny. Kind of a waste though. But I can still, I could be quite annoying with it now. This uh, one game is going to make this a long, long video, isn't it? I'm a pretty scared of the Radiant Greninja myself against the Flaps. It's not ideal. It's really not ideal. The deck does not play Manaphy, if you're wondering. Although I kind of wish I had a Manaphy going in this deck. So you just... Oh, okay. So terrible start for my opponent, Electric Generator. Now that's a risk. That is a risk. Do I take the risk? No, no I do not. I know it seems crazy, but I'm just going to get the... F I'm just going to get the Flaffy. I'm just going to guarantee the Dynamo to attach. I'm just going to guarantee it. I have no card hand at the end of it, but the pressure is on. And I've got two card hand now. Might get the zone. I got the zone. And I've got four seal stone as well, but you know, I've got the zone. So I could. I could potentially this turn have some fun with the zone. Providing. Hmm. So we need to top deck an energy here now. What doth my opponent do in this situation? Another little flower select and a switch cart. I sort of I want to get rid of this radiant Greninja now before it threatens the double flaffy. Because hitting the double flaffy would be super annoying. Hmm. He only does 40, doesn't he? Double it to 80 on the mana fee. Next turn it's highly likely that I'm going to, if I get an energy, I'm just going to attach to the Magnezone V, I'm going to Dynamo to Magnezone V, I'm going to retreat the Maridon, and I'm going to drag up the Mana V and t take a prize on that, because it then forces them as well to either have the Clara or take a Comfy KO, or they play two Mana Fee, but highly unlikely. So at that point, it's like, even if you get, even if you get the, um, even if you get the Radiant Greninja on the double Flaffy, I've st I'm still just putting so much pressure on. Uh, uh, it, well, essentially, yeah. So I would take out the Manaphy here for one prize. I could take two prizes with the Magnezone V-Star. There's a Clara used. That's good. Now I'm almost tempted to try and find a boss KO with the Forest Seal Stone and just leave the magazine out of it entirely. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, okay, so uh, you don't <laughs> it doesn't show you what you get off of that, does it? He didn't even get the Giratina. What did he get? Oh the energies. Okay. Nice judge, nice judge here would be pretty groovy, wouldn't it? Uh, two comfies used. Three in the lost zone, we've got attached retreat.
my opponent's what second or third turn must be second turn and they only just have four in the lost zone so this is going quite well for us at the moment wish i had another energy there though it's sort of annoying I mean, even if we use Magazine own v stars second attack for 180 damage it's still really good what's the draw it's a raichu it's not what we wanted uh Okay, I can't really attack this turn unless I dynamo to here. I retreat. I fleet footed the absolute nuts. It's a boss. Okay. I suppose I can go attach Forest Steel. Yeah, so at this point I'm tempted to just completely sack off the Magazone V-Star attack. Just the fear of it is enough. Star Alchemy. Give me an energy. Attach. I'm going to boss up the Radiant Greninja, and then I'm going to Lightning Run to that. Just getting rid of the, the, as much of the draw as possible. Unfortunately, we lose a boss. That's one boss and one Serena out. Roxanne, not very useful at the moment. Bit of a pickle, bit of a pickle. We've got one energy there, so we've always, already got the Dynamo uh, Retreat of the Reiku. And having the Reiku active here is probably quite nice because we can Fleet Footed and... Um, potentially uh, conceal cards as well, but mainly the fleet footed here is going to be quite nice. That's why I chose to put the the Reiku up. It's sort of quite sticky, really. This whole situation is very sticky. I don't love it. I do not love it at all. <sighs> Only one boss left in deck. Don't even know if it's prized. There's only one Serena in deck used already. Just got to start punching these things. I'm getting rid of the Radiant Greninja as well. But hopefully, and seeing their Clara go, hopefully, means that the Flaffies won't be Radiant Greninja's at. Well, they're not, it's not going to be as easy. Oh, you're just going to punch him with Crown, that seems like. Well, I suppose you're getting somewhere, aren't you? You're definitely getting somewhere. Don't know where, but you're definitely getting somewhere. And I still, I can still threaten this Magnazone V Star Magnetic Grip. 180 damage is going to do a lot, and such type of two item cards. Which is for, I think, I, I think it's very good. I actually think Magnazone V Stars are very good. Um, you're two shotting anything with that. You can also really heavily challenge Comfies. Uh, with this one one line. You're just going to take the 210. Going to see another energy and a Giratina gone. No Girat. Why are you not playing the Giratinas? Don't you just re Oh, is it Thornton? Am I about to see some kind of Thornton play? I need to shuffle the deck, their hand. I think I'm about to hit Thornton. Not cool. Right hand's not useful, but will be. Let's fleet footed something. That's kind of useful. Um, definitely going to hit the old dynamo to here. Onto the Maridon. We've got Raichu in hand. Um, nothing else to do really. I'm just going to take another prize. I think I understand what the plan is. The plan is Thornton and then evolve straight away to stop me from using the boss. Very good plan. One, two, one, two three. I'm going to need five energy in play to do um, Raichu. And I think I can just do it. I think I can just do it. Unfortunately, I have used the Forest Seal. 
Um, if I hadn't used force steel, I I can right hand I can right hand for an energy anyway. Yeah, I can just right hand another energy. Can get a dynamo. I think yeah, there's five here in play, so that should be fine. And that'll be the last two prizes as well, of course. So overall, I think there's a win condition on the board. But I'm also assuming quite a lot for my <laughs> from my opponent. I'm assuming that they're going to use a Thornton. But it, it seems to be set up for it. They've got the two Giratina V Star V in the discard. They ultra board the V Star as well. What? Are you just gonna spit me? Yo, the disrespect. That is some disrespect right there. Uh, I don't love this because I don't love that I'm... Uh... Energy recyclers. Okay. I suppose why would they play Thornton at this point? Okay, well that's getting bossed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh wow, okay. Another Mirage Gate. If it wasn't completely obvious what you were doing before. Oh, okay. You put me in a position where I can't just boss the game. But do I play escape rope? Because if I do, I'll just... I'll just escape rope. And then knock out something on the bench. I suppose I play it my little Maraid on then. Are they going to try and force a Roxanne? Okay, I drew an energy. I don't know if I play Escape Rope. I think I do. It's a generator. Let's use a Jenny. One. Put it on the zone. I'm tempted to just attack with the zone. Dynamo, sir. Uh, do they use rocks and me? Ah, I can just hand them unit. Let's have a look. See what's in the deck. There is an escape rope in the deck. Okay. Get another Marie in play. Hmm. Do I boss this turn? So they don't have as much energy in play? I think that's a cool idea. If I retreat. Play the boss. I want that. Now I suppose I'll take a Jenny or a switch. No, Jenny. Why well, would I need a switch and an escape rope? Makes no sense. But yeah, okay, so we're just limiting their energy here. They've got to be really hoping on that Roxanne that is just the absolute nuts. Because I could get triple Flaffy. I think I've locked this one. <laughs> I don't like to say it just in case, but it could be looking for a big Roxanne play. Why would you promote that comfy? She plans to retreat it. They've got to be looking for the Roxanne here. I'm just hoping I draw nothing. Right. 
Right, let's see the Thornton. Let's do it. Let's see it. It's got to be the Thornton, surely. Come on now, all this build up. There it is, there's the Thornton. I'm gonna see the Comfy become a Giratina V, and then that Giratina V become a Giratina V star. Oh, they can't Thornton and Roxanne, can they? What am I talking about? <laughs> Talk about. Uh, uh, do I try and knock out with the, the Raichu? Mm. Don't think it can be done. It it might be it it can be done. I think I'm gonna go for it. Well done. I mean I can escape rope to win. Basically either way. I'm going to play up the Radiant Greninja. Let's do this. Let's absolutely do this. Generator. Nothing. That is a shame. Dynamotor. Right hand one there. Get that. Let's dynamotor to there. He does sixty times, so I can attach. I can of course retreat. And this is gonna do three hundred damage. For the knockout on the Giratina. One, two, do that. Don't click done. I've done that before. One, two, three, four, five. That is all the energy done. 300 damage. Last prize there. Could have escaped Roach to one of the single prizes, but sort of wanted to knock out the Giratina V Star to show the true power of this deck. There's the victory. That's what we're looking for. Absolutely loving this deck right now. I uh, wasn't really keen on Marauder when it first came out, but there you go. That's about going to do it for this video. It was probably quite long-winded. I hope the game was worth it as well. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, look. Got some stuff to collect. 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 Give it to me now. New tier. Collect. Oh, got another booster pack. Let's see what we get. Sangoose. Power pad. Jach, Mouscarada. Ah, there you go. Character art. Toad School. Ah, and a full art Jack as well. <laughs> Dang. Well, there you go. That was a pretty loaded one pack, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, thank you very much, team. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks.